Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Miranda. Today I'm going to talk about the passive voice. The passive voice is used to emphasize the object or when the person doing the action is unknown. For that reason, it's really important to know the forms of the verb to be and the past participle of the verbs. Look at these examples of the forms of to be. We use be with small verbs and future tenses. Is and are with simple present. Was were with simple past. Being with continuous tenses and being with perfect tenses. Let's check this ex example in active voice. Daniel cleans the house. This example is written in simple present. Daniel is the subject, cleans is the verb, the house is the object. Okay, when you are going to change this active voice to passive voice, you have to use the different forms of to be and the past participle of the verbs. In this case, the house is cleaned by Daniel. The house is the subject, is clean as the passive voice, and by Daniel is the person who does the action. If you need to change this example into the other passive voice forms, you can do it in this way. For example, in simple past. The house was cleaned by Daniel. If you are going to change it into person continuous, you have to do it in this way. The house is being cleaned by Daniel. Okay. That is the, the final explanation of passive voice. If you need to know more about the passive voice, you have to practice. And in that way, you are going to know how to use it and how to use it in conversation. Because this passive voice is commonly used in English spoken, con spoken countries. Thank you for your attention. I wait for your comments. Goodbye.